One in 125,000 people will be injured while caving. And there's an average of 15 caving related injuries per year. Between the years 1980 and 2008, there were a total of 81 cave related deaths. So what causes this to happen? Well, this is caused by several things, a few of which being improper equipment, overconfidence in navigation, and inexperience. So what can we do to make caving safer? These poor group of inventors think they have a solution. The Digital Junction Tracker, or DJT for short. How does it work, you ask? So DJTs consist of a hand unit, a ground unit, and up to 1,000 breadcrumbs. Each of these will have their own signal. The final breadcrumb will have a matching signal to the hand unit. The rest of the crumbs will have descending signals down to a zero. This will match the signal of the ground unit. This allows communication between the hand unit and the ground unit. The process starts by coding our microprocessors and designing our cases in CAD. We then attach battery packs and solder the microprocessors and battery packs inside of our casing. In an effort to make our device more sustainable, as well as increase its life on the surface in order to increase the amount of time that cavers can be rescued and transmit data, we've decided to add and expand solar technology onto our device. This allows the surface unit to run indefinitely and continue to transmit data as long as the sun shines. Although ways of exiting a cave exist, they can be damaging to the environment and the ecosystem. The DJT offers a more eco-friendly way to stay safe with a biodegradable filament. One day, Ed Webston and a group of his friends were planning to go to a cave in Rennick, West Virginia. But at the last minute, most of the group canceled. Ed and another friend changed plans for the cave and traveled to Covington, Virginia and began caving. After about two to three hours of caving, they found a group of cavers who had become lost and had began dividing their food sources. They had been in the cave for about five hours. The cavers had left Richmond, Virginia and not told anyone where they were going. Had Ed and his friend not ventured into the cave that day, they may never have been found. With approximately 70,000 caves in the U.S. alone, this invention will have a major impact not only in West Virginia, but throughout the U.S. and even the world.